He said, Dino. I said, sir, you know I am not afraid to go to rivers. I said, we know, sir. He said, if I fought a sitting president, it is not anything to fight a sitting governor. He said, but never on my account, or never on the account of my ambition, will one drop of blood be spilled in River State. And the conclusion of that matter is that we have let blood for blood-sucking demons. We have let blood for vampires. We are going to win rivers without spilling blood. In turn of events that have led us to this unique style of a campaign rally. Although we did not wish <clears throat> for this, it became expedient that we think and act innovatively to protect the lives of our people from the mindless violence and bloodshed instigated by the very persons who have the primary responsibility for their security and well-being. Our campaign and indeed the PDP subscribe fully to the position that no political ambition is worth the blood of any Nigerian or our party member. Clearly, events on the ground in River State and this gathering here at the instance of our Rivers PDP family confirms to see Rivers people in your beautiful apparel attires here this evening. As I attempt to bring to the podium, when we saw the satanic manifestations going on in rivers, some of us very hot heads had a meeting with the chairman of the party and the presidential candidate and his vice. And we said, we must go to rivers. We must go to rivers. Our, our blood boiling. We said, we must go to rivers. Ningi said, we must go. Elumelu said, we must go. Philip Aduda said, we must go. But Atiku Abubakar, a father, a unifier, a pacifier, a sanctificator. He said, Dino, I said, sir, you know I am not afraid to go to rivers. I said, we know, sir. He said, if I fought a sitting president, it is not anything to fight a sitting governor. He said, but never on my account, or never on the account of my ambition, will one drop of blood be spilled in River State. And the conclusion of that matter is that we have let blood for blood-sucking demons. We have let blood for vampires. We are going to win rivers without spilling blood. Ladies and gentlemen, President Atiku Abubakar, I salute your moral sagacity. Even in the bare parlor, there is seniority. This man is a matured Nigerian. Open a clap for him. And we know that river people are determined. How can you be talking of South, fighting for South, equity, justice, and there's a way they talk integrity? 
can you be talking of rotation when yourself, Ameti and yourself, you are from the same local government. Ameti finish, you take over, you talk of rotation. Is that a rotation? If you want to rotate, you know go, you know go do because you go say my brother don't do. Now you want say south to north, and meanwhile you yourself for you to rotate, you have to support rotation. Have you done Ladies and gentlemen, if you know your hands are not aching you, jam your hands together as I invite the next president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Right, right. River's leadership decided to present to me a written address. So I will not go out of that protocol. So my dear people of River State, represented physically here today by a cross-section of leaders, opinion leaders, and citizens from various walks of life, I welcome you. I want to start by acknowledging the circumstances and turn of events that have led us to this unique style of a campaign rally. Although we did not wish for this, it became expedient that we think and act innovatively to protect the lives of our people from the mindless violence and bloodshed instigated by the very persons who have the primary responsibility for their security and well-being. Our campaign and indeed the PDP subscribe fully to the position that no political ambition is worth the blood of any Nigerian or our party member. Clearly, events on the ground in River State and this gathering here at the instance of our River's PDP family confirms the historic relationship between me and the River's people. Beyond being a good corporate citizen of River State, I have deeply connected with several families in River State over the years, a relationship that has endured for decades long before politics. That is why I remain confident of the support of River's people for PDP and our presidency. River State and River people are bound by destiny to be critical stakeholders and beneficiaries of the Atiku Okoa presidency in multiple ways. Let me therefore reassure Rivers people that the state will regain its preeminent position in the governance and politics of Nigeria. <laughs> Amongst other dividends, the transportation infrastructure in Rebu State will receive priority attention. <laughs> the existing seaports will be expanded to increase economic activities that will have a multiplier effect on the economy of River State for the prosperity of our people and indeed the whole country. The uncompleted rail line from Oneport to join Port Harcourt, my Duguri rail line, which has been on the drawing board for decades, will be completed speedily <laughs> while, while the deep sea port in Boni will receive immediate attention. Let me also 
said that the completion of the East Way Road will be a cardinal priority commitment <laughs> for our presidents. The International Airport in Port Harcourt will receive increased attention and investment to become a truly regional hub. The youth of River State, like other states in the Niger Delta, will benefit from our dedicated economic empowerment scheme as a means of dealing with the persistent youth restlessness and discontent, which has sometimes created security challenges. Amongst other initiatives, the Presidential Amnesty Program, which I was part of, will be revamped and restructured to become an enduring platform for unleashing the boundless creative energies and potentials of our youth in River State. Our recovery agenda for Nigeria has a front row seat for River's women, who are brilliant, talented, and hardworking. The women of River State will benefit from our special entrepreneurial funding targeted at women, in addition to being considered for appointment to various offices. As a corporate citizen of River State for many decades, I know that River's people appreciate that an Atiku presidency is inherently in their best interest, which is why, which is why you have made it your own project a great human and material sacrifices. I assure you, I assure you that your sacrifice and support will be fully rewarded with good governance that will allow your aspirations to be realized. I therefore urge you to keep the faith, even in the face of harassment and needless violent intimidation. Turn out massively on Saturday, the 25th of February 2023, and cast your votes, as usual, for PDP. I assure you that your sacrifice and support will be fully rewarded. I wish you a safe journey back home. Keep safe. May God continue to bless the People's Democratic Party. May God bless River State. And may God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And thank you.